Hello, folks. Hi, Hey. Hey. Yeah, it's very weird because this meeting is not in my calendar. I don't know what happened, but it seems uh, today we should have a sick meeting. And, uh, but it's very short because we only have one uh, thing to discussion because uh, we're recently talking about updates the uh, uh, the the landscape of things that regarding to the um, application management and delivery part because uh, if you look at the uh, current things in landscape uh, yeah I can share it with you about issue. Right. So, so today, if you look at the uh, current sensitive landscape um, for the application management part, it's it's kind of different from what we 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 are seeing in the community. For example, database right now is part of the application definition and the development, which this is this is because at the very beginning and uh, the people think that if you want to develop a software with database, but today obviously we have something like uh, six, right? We have six storage, which should be more, it should be more appropriate to cover this database section. And for the application delivery part, we do need to um, refactor the application definition, image build and uh, CI CD part in this landscape. So the basic idea is that people are now talking, it, it both happened in TOC and in SIG offline discussion and SIG chairs discussion that we basically want to uh, refactor uh, this part of the uh, this part of the landscape. Uh, but there are some several proposals. Uh, one proposal is that uh, we want to create an, another tab here, like service. We may want to create another tab, which name is application management and delivery, or we actually refactor this card to split it, to, it into multiple pieces. And uh, the database will be moved to a independent uh, storage card. So this, this is the idea we are currently have. So if you guys have, have any idea around to the landscape refactoring, uh, please, uh, uh, you can comment in the documentation. You can just uh, raise the discussion in this meeting. So this is the only issue uh, we want to discuss in this, uh, in this SIG meeting. Anyone has any uh, ideas or suggestions? So, so I'm looking at this, right? And I'm, and I'm thinking about applications. And yeah. I see it's called application definition and development. And so when I look at this, mm -hmm. I see somebody who's um, building stuff or preparing stuff to run as workloads, right? So it'd be right. like a workload in Kubernetes. You're trying to get your application up and going, right? And so this isn't so much for cluster operators or systems operators or any of that kind of thing. It's, it's a practical, how do we show this stuff up front for the people who have to build and operate stuff? And I like the fact that this whole category is on top because it's the largest potential group of people, right? The people who build Kubernetes and these tools are the smallest. They know the most, most intimately. And the next above that, you've got people who operate these tools. They're the next largest group that manage everything. And then people who actually use all of this stuff to run their, the thing they care about is the largest potential group of people. And so putting that at the top, I really like. So when I see something like database and some of these other things, I see this is something that they want to use as a dependency. So yeah. if I'm going to build an application, I don't want to grab, you know, Maria DB and go manage it myself. I always just grab it as a dependency. I grab it as a SaaS from a public cloud or a service. I grab it. I, I for a long time, I use apt install to get it because I'm not going to deal with MySQL or Maria or Postgres or any of these things myself. I want to get it from somebody who knows more. You get it as a dependency. And so as somebody who's doing that, I want to get my dependency in a cloud native way, right? In a way that works best for my platform. What are the ways that work within my style um, and getting it as a dependency? And that's a common problem that I think people have. And so 
having it up front like this, unless we break it out and say, here's different types of dependencies that are common, get it in a cloud native way. I don't know that I'd want to put it into a different section because you want to make it intuitive, right? Somebody who has to set up storage, right? So when I go to use storage in a Kubernetes cluster, I don't know how it's implemented a lot of the time. And I don't care as somebody who's deploying my application into it. Usually I don't care. I might care if it's something like NFS and I'm going to use a database because I'm not going to have the kind of block level performance. Um, but that's still really rare. If I deploy my application into Kubernetes running in AWS or Kubernetes running into Azure, it's it's auto provision for my volumes. It's to block store. I don't even think about the implementation anymore, right? So when you're talking storage and you're talking database, it's kind of different target audiences, right? Depending yeah. on the level. And so the level of abstraction here, I'd want to keep databases in a way that says, hey, I'm a person who's doing application development and getting my application up and running here. And this is where you get the dependencies. That's how I'd like to see it broken up and done in a manner that helps them. Yeah, I think any point here. So yeah, it's actually depending on the, um, I think it's actually depending on the abstraction, abstraction level about, about this. Uh, oh, you can just comment in the doc, yes, uh, for any input you want to have regarding to landscape uh, refactoring. Uh, so yes, yeah, actually okay. depending on the abstraction level. And uh, mm -hmm. so right now, what I am, I can, Okay, from this landscape is this database section is more targeted on the, I think on the, it's not on application developers, it's more like, like on the database developers or DBAs to focus on. But there are indeed some, some other project like Theta, I, I checked that project, it's more like a, it's, it, it's actually a library for developers to consume the database, for example. So, there are also several different projects are mixed, mi mi mixed together in this in this in this section. So we, we should definitely need to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if it's for kind of more, um, the, if it's not at that application developer, application operator level, then I would put it somewhere else. But if it yeah. is, I'd want to keep it clumped together. So if I'm an application yeah. developer, an application operator, I can come to this one row and look across and see here are different things that would be very useful for me without having to, to find it in some other row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with you here. And also, do you think that we need to uh, think with uh, seek storage around this uh, refactoring landscape? Because uh, there are a large part here, which are, I think, in their, in their scope. So where is this document that they're doing it in? This is actually a GitHub repo, landscape repo. They're doing it over on the re just the repo in itself? Yeah, if you want to okay. refactor yep. that. You I know where that is. I know where that is. Oh, and also, another thing is the streaming and the messaging part. And do you think it's also the concern of the developer or operator? Or we should put them into service part? So the service part. What do you mean put them in the service part? Uh, I mean service part. There is already a service oh. section. For example, cloud, but cloud events is actually here. It's not part of the service section. I don't know if we should touch that part or we just leave it alone. What is on the serverless card offhand? Because cloud events is a tool for people who are building applications and consuming what's on the serverless right. tools, security, framework. Okay, I don't even see where it would fit over here. It's more like a specification you'd want to use. Hmm. Who owns the serverless page? Uh, I think the working group serverless. Is that okay? The serverless working group still exists? Yeah. So, right. Yeah, you can see here there are multiple issues if you want to refactor this landscape. Uh, so, I think the goal is clear that if you want to, you know, have a, have a section or a card or a page for application. 
developers and operators, right? Right now, there are a lot of things mixed mixed together in this application section, which make people feel very confused when reading this basket. So you're thinking of a serverless page for application developers and operators? Uh, it's, I don't think it's a serverless page. We can have something like- No, that. I mean a page like the serverless one. I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, a page something. like the serverless one, another tab basically. Yeah, something like that. But we can also keep it here. I, I don't have any opinion on that. We, I just uh, talked with Lois and Brian. They, they two have different ideas regarding to this. Uh, so we can do both. Um, I think we need to re-evaluate uh, whether we want to go to re which direction. I think, yeah, I think I can start a documentation or we can just, uh, it's, we can just add ideas in the, uh, in the meeting notes documentation to to list the options that we have here and uh, how we do the refactoring. Has anybody done um, a study or a poll or anything where we collected information from people who've looked at this site and done anything? Right, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to uh, do yeah. it in a vacuum. I actually want to look at what end users have to say. Has any data been collected on that? Not yet, but I think it's a good idea that we should start something like survey, a poll, yeah. like people who have some input regarding to all of this. It's a really good idea. Could we work with the CNCF to have a survey and then maybe have a link to that at the top? So people who come here could see, fill out a survey and what you think, and they could click through and then they could fill out and give their feedback? Yeah, I think we can do that. That, that might help us get some, some actionable stuff. So us as insiders of the community, trying to figure out what people who come here to consume things are looking for, um, we, we're probably gonna miss things. We don't know what we don't know or where their hard spots are because we already know how to navigate it. Uh, but if we could somehow survey them, then we might be able to collect some more uh, actionable data and, and maybe some insights that we hadn't thought of. I see, yeah. What, what kind of what kind of content do you think should be included in the survey? No idea off the top of my head. I'd be curious what others had to thought though. Mm, I think I also need to check some other examples from the other uh, SIGs or uh, or other organizations regarding how to do that. But yeah, I, I believe it's a good idea. I'm all, I'm thinking about sending out a survey regarding to this landscape uh, for a long time. I think we should definitely do that at the first day. Okay, so yeah, um, as I mentioned, this is the uh, topic we want to discuss today, and uh, I think we have several actions that we are first um, have a place to comment ideas and the the the, the options we have. Uh, I think maybe we just do that on the meeting notes doc. We can create a section for discussing the uh, landscape. And meantime, uh, I will try to discuss with since they see if. Uh, since that stuff can help us to create a survey to get input from the community to help us to reshape this uh, landscape. And uh, the goal is that we want to have a section, no matter in this page or in another tab, which focus on application developers and operators instead of like today, it makes thing, a lot of things together, which, like, which makes people reading this landscape very difficult to understand what's happening, okay? And I will update the uh, not meeting notes. Yeah, I see Uma is also uh, commenting on this um, on, on this idea. So maybe Uma, you want to share it a little bit in the meeting? Um, yeah. So so for for me, the um, application delivery and management, the projects that contribute to a better delivery. Uh, maybe spread across uh, different tiers. Uh, there may be some networking uh, project that may be helping for an application uh, management and delivery. So it's a complex subject for me. I don't know how to, I cannot envision uh, just taking the existing uh, image build and uh, CICD projects together and then refactoring them uh, to be calling it as application management. Um, to be honest, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> so it may be a good idea to start uh, putting some new thoughts. Um, this delivery is becoming an important um, um, important subject. There are many new projects coming into this SIG. 
there is chaos that we represent uh, uh, infrastructure delivery the cross plane uh, operators um, right uh, uh, many things that uh, are coming into this seg so mm -hmm. um, yeah so it, it may be a good idea but that's just my opinion to have it as a separate tab and start having some good discussions there okay got it thank you for input um, yeah, I also agree with you here. And uh, it's from my personal view, I think it's also maybe better to have a separate tab. And just as you mentioned, because there are many projects across this, across different scopes. And um, I will also guess that they have, we will have um, a large number of, of the projects which may, we may want to categorize them into different scopes. For example, some, some are more for personal application packaging, some are more for personal workloads management and like that. Yeah, but, but again, I will ask more people and uh, try to give some big, big input on that because uh, there are also somebody raised a concern because uh, we basically will move a lot of projects from the front page of the landscape to a different tab in that sense. So they are very not sure uh, how we keep the front page of the landscape uh, attractive, I mean, there are a lot of, because we basically will move a lot of projects from that page to another page. Yeah. So I will, I will try to collect, uh, collect the input from the different sites regarding that, okay? Uh, here, here's a question though, so, because I, I don't want to keep the landscape attractive. I want to keep it useful. Mm -hmm. And that, that's kind of hard. I'm wondering if the CNCF has any user experience designers uh, uh, those are folks who could look at who the users are, how do you craft a good experience to present information, that kind of thing. Yeah, um, I, I, get, I get a point here. I'm not sure about that, but I think we can ask Amy regarding to uh, this issue. So let's see if they have any designer or user experience yeah. people to give us input about how to make this thing, just I mentioned, useful with a better user experience at the same time. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if they've got somebody over there who did, because, you know, this is all the Linux Foundation, which means there are people in corners somewhere who know stuff. <laughs> if we could, if we could maybe find somebody who's better at, at information architecture and that kind of thing than we are, uh, it would be, uh, they'd come up with something better than I, I would recommend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Okay, uh, I will... I will write down these actions in the meeting notes and try to uh, offline ping uh, different people uh, who are interested in this section. And so uh, hopefully we can uh, have a new, new shaped landscape uh, in the maybe next month. Okay. Well, uh, this is what we try to, uh, with what we want to focus, to, want to focus on discussing in today's meeting. I'm not sure if anyone else have input or suggestions or idea regarding to the landscape. Okay, so it seems we are all good here. And uh, let's just finish this very quick SIG uh, app delivery meeting. SIG app delivery online meeting. And uh, all the record will be uploaded to YouTube later. And uh, thank you for your uh, participation and discussion. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks.